so-called Christian movies on YouTube that promote the free will of man, which is a lie. They show someone in trouble. Here's the narrative. They show one someone going through a lot of trouble, and they say that um, this is brought about by themselves, by the actions that they've done, the consequences of their actions, and so on. And that they have a choice to turn their life around. And all they have to do is make a decision for Christ and they can turn their life around. The scripture tells us something totally different. In fact, scripture even says that God causes grief. Did you know that? Lamentations 3.32 says, But though he caused grief, yet he will have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. But though he caused grief, yet he will have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. Lamentations 3.32 All these people that are promoting the lie that God doesn't cause things. God is the cause of all things. I've said that over and over. You know, it says he works all things after the counsel of his own will. It doesn't say some things. Jeremiah 45 3 Thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighing, and I find no rest. Notice, the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. Well, I heard T.D. Jake say one time, after 9-11, he said, God didn't cause that. God didn't cause, God wasn't, didn't have anything to do with 9-11. Well, then you believe in maverick molecules, T.D. Jakes. You don't believe the scripture that says that God is over all things and by him all things consist. That includes 9-11. You're not being truthful, T.D. Jakes. People always want to quote Romans 8, 28. He works all things, you know, for our good. But then they want to deny whenever he works some bad things for our good, <laughs> like he did in Joseph's life. And people want to lie about it, don't they? They certainly do. Now, I've had many experiences down through my life. I'm 70 years old, and I can tell you that there's been many things. If I was in charge, people say if I had a free will, I wouldn't have chose what happened to me. I wouldn't have chose what happened to me. You know. I wouldn't have chose being terminated by the state of Missouri for refusing to place homosexuals, foster parents with homosexuals. I didn't change the agency's policies when I first started as a social worker that we didn't place children with homosexuals. They changed the policies. I didn't. <laughs> but God is the one that was behind the whole thing. And there was a five-year battle. And God was in the midst of the whole thing. 
there's nothing that God is not involved in. You know, you cannot parcel out things and say God is in this but he's not in that. God caused this but he didn't cause that. No. And you want to talk about God being the God of second causes? No. You want to talk about God having several wills? No. He has one will. And he works all things after the counsel of his own will. That's what it tells us in Ephesians 1. You say, you get on one, you got a one-track mind. Yes, I have a one-track mind because God gets all the glory in all things. And if you don't believe it, just look up the scriptures that state that. God is over all. I mean, Him by all things consist. You know, why do people deny Scripture that talks about His sovereignty over all? Why do they deny it? Because they want to think they can do something to bring about their own well-being. Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over the cattle over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth first chronicles 29 30 with all his reign and his might and the times that went over him and over Israel and over all the kingdoms of the countries Joshua 7, verse 7, And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, wherefore thou hast thou at all brought this people over Jordan to deliver us in the hand of the Amorites to destroy us? Would to God we would be content and dwelt on the other side of Jordan. Joshua 4, 24, 23, For the Lord God your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you were passed over as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up from before us until we were gone over. <clears throat> if you do not believe God is over all things, then you do not believe that God is God. You believe that he is at the he's independent of his creatures he's dependent upon his creatures but he's not dependent on his creatures he's independent of his creatures he is a supreme potent he 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 is over all things and one of these days he's coming back as a ruling reigning king on a white horse. A victorious king. And then people are going to bow before him and confess that he's Lord. You know. But people wanted to deny his supremacy. 
they don't want him to be supreme. They want him to be dependent upon their his creatures. And they want to promote a God that is a wimp. <laughs> God is not a wimp. He is a victorious king. And he's coming back as a ruling and reigning king. And you can say, well, he limits himself. No, he does not limit himself. <laughs> God is without any limitations. I can tell you that right now. He's without any limitations. You can say that you can put a sign up in front of your church, Free Will Baptist Church, all you want to. But it's a lie. Man does not have a free will. First Corinthians fifteen fifty seven. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians fifteen fifty five. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Psalm ninety eight one. A psalm, O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. First John five four. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Revelation 8, 15, 2, And I saw, as it were, in a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. So don't ever tell me he doesn't cause grief, because he does. Lamentation 3.32 But though he caused grief, but he will have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. May the good Lord be with you. It's my prayer. God bless.